Hello to you all and welcome back to a This Is Niagara COVID-19 video. Um, two weeks ago, I did a video called It's Just a Mask. And after I published that uh, video, I kind of decided I was going to take a step back from these COVID videos and, you know, just let it lie low for quite a while if I could. And that was my plan and all was going well for a full week. And then uh, last week, something caught my attention and then something else caught my attention. Uh, the first one was an anti-mass rally which had been taking place in the Niagara region, caught my attention. And then, right about the same time, our daily COVID figures in Ontario started going up. So, it kind of got my interest a little bit here. So, I thought about it for a few days and I heard that this uh, anti-mass rally, which calls themselves Hugs Over Mask, were having another rally on Saturday outside the Niagara region headquarters over in Welland. So... I oomed an R about it for quite a while, and at the very last minute on Saturday morning, I went, you know what, I'm going to go. I'm going to go and check it out as an observer, see what's going on. So that's exactly what I did. I jumped in my car, went on down there, and I went down to the uh, protest demonstration just to observe. But before I go any further, if you're a COVID out and you don't want to hear any about this COVID stuff, I would recommend that you just shut the video off right about now. And uh, just before you go, though, just make sure you subscribe. And uh, when the new videos come out later on in the week or next week, uh, you'll be able to come back and watch the next video. Uh, but the next video will be a non-COVID related one. Fingers crossed. So in the meantime, if you don't want to watch anything COVID related, uh, by all means, feel free to just turn it off right now. Uh, I won't be upset in any way. It's, everyone's getting sick of it, but certain things still need to be told. So that's why I'm doing it. So here's your opportunity to just turn it off right now. So you stayed around. Okay, that's good. After I've been to the protest, on the Saturday, uh, I sat on the video for a few days, not knowing what to do with it, because I didn't know if I wanted to publish it or not. Um, I watched over it a couple of times, then I edited it, then I managed to get like 45 minutes of video down to 20 minutes, and it's just been sat here now since Monday. And I, I, didn't, I didn't know if I wanted to publish it or not. Uh, so I thought about it, and I watched it again, and then with the COVID figures going higher and higher here in Ontario, even more, I, I decided today, this morning, but you know what? I'm going to put the video out. I am going to put it out. So this is basically a quick introduction to the video. Please feel free to comment in the video below on any of the talking points, uh, whether you're against them or whether you support them. Are, are they correct? Are they wrong? Uh, have they got the facts completely wrong? It'd be great to just get a nice little talking debate on, but please keep it um, respectful for one another. Usually I, 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 I kind of tend to do like get a little sarcastic with uh, the anti-maskers, but I, I, I went there with an unbiased mind, and uh, I had a really good chat with them all. Uh, well, the ones that spoke to me, I had a really good chat, and I, I'm glad I went. So I'm going to let you be the judge, uh, you, my viewers. And this is basically the Hugs Over, Over Mask demonstration in Welland on Saturday the 12th, 2020. All right, good day. It's uh, Saturday the 12th of September, and I'm down today here in uh, Thorold. And outside, actually just across the road from the headquarters of the Niagara region, where right now a protest is taking place, or a demonstration. Uh, the Anti-Masker Brigade, also known as uh, Masks Not Hugs, or Hugs Over Masks. Something like that. Anyway, we're going to keep an eye on this. Uh, you know my stance on COVID and the anti-maskers and things like that. So I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm just going to be here to monitor what goes on. Might even ask a couple of questions, try and get to see where their heads are at and how they believe in all this. And uh, we'll take it from there. Um, I'm a believer of science, uh, not from Facebook hysteria. So uh, there's a big difference there straight away. So we're going to keep an eye on this. Right now there's about 30 people, old and young. Uh, a lot of handshaking going on, a lot of hugging and stuff like that. So uh, we're going to keep in mind right now the cases of COVID have actually just started to skyrocket around here. Uh, now, uh, Ontario is now reporting uh, 213 cases yesterday, I believe it was. And 232 today, so the figures are going up. Also, um, numbers are going up around the world right now, especially in Europe, UK, Germany, France, Spain, uh, the Greek islands, Greece itself. Numbers are spiraling. Uh, India is now the second highest uh, number of COVID cases. They had a whopping 90,000 in 24 hours. Uh, this isn't going away, and we still don't know what the long term effects are if you have COVID. Um, I already know a couple of people have had it, and I know one person struggles, and they were a healthy person before they had COVID and now they have long-term health issues since they've had it. So these are the anti-maskers and let's go and say hello. All right, let's go over there, see what happens. Check out the signs.
Go on. Yeah, bad. Can I shake your hand? No. Who are you with? On my own. Yeah, yeah, I'm not media. I'm not media, don't worry. Freelance? Huh? Freelance kind of, yeah. Just seeing what transpires here, that's all. Oh, I, I just know last time on Thursday they put something in there and they put that. Oh, no, I'm not with the media, trust me. I, I've had enough fights with Niagara Region oh, media and shit like that. But the one thing they do is they put the one negative, who knows who it was, yeah, and yeah. they implant anyway. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Bill 62, two years ago in Quebec, you couldn't go on public transit with a mask on. It was illegal. Yeah. Bill 62, because of the burqa thing. Yeah, yeah. Now it's illegal to go on the bus unless you're wearing a mask. Go figure. This is our politicians. That's the issue. Well, there's a lot of uh, contradiction in it. I'll give everyone that. A lot of contradiction. The vaccine is the solution to this. Hold on a sec. Yeah, yeah. The mask comes off because I know what the end game is. The end game is to get everybody vaccinated. Right. That's the whole point. It has nothing to do with, with, with uh, protection. So you vote for Trudeau or whoever. Why are they taking their, their commands from people who we didn't elect? Like the well, World Health Organization of Bill Gates. I didn't vote for them. Well, Bill Gates has nothing to do with this. I heard this conspiracy mm. before. He, you know, he doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, so he didn't meet with the mayors? Well, he's probably, not, not he these mayors. He's probably, he meets with He's a businessman. Oh, that's my understanding. He w met with mayors. He's a businessman. So when he talks and he says about investment back five years ago, because yeah, yeah. that's, he said it with his mouth. Yeah. You know, it's an investment. Well, investment isn't a gift. It isn't a charity. It's basically a business opportunity. I give you money for something in return. That's like how I, he talks. It's a business. I know, like but he's said. got so much freaking money. I don't think he needs any more money. <laughs> no. You money, you want more money. Oh, Event 201. So was yeah, that yeah, a scam? Yeah. Was, hey? that, was that legit? What's that? Event 201. What's Event 201? Okay, then you have no clue, man. No, what's Event 201? That's Bill Gates. That's him with the coronavirus. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, right, In right. October. Right. In October. In October, you know that one. Well, I don't follow Bill Gates, so I'm not, hey, well, I'm not cared about what okay, he does. Okay, you don't follow Bill Gates, right? <laughs> but that's exactly the point. Why should we follow Bill Gates? Who cares about Bill Gates? And yet, we follow Bill Gates. Because Trudeau follows the who, who follows Bill Gates. Man, I, think just grasp, I think you just grasp me onto straws with that. No, I am yeah, not. Yeah. Event 201. Yeah. That's basically where he basically talks about the coronavirus coming out of, or a coronavirus coming out of uh, Asia. Oh, yeah. Basically, the same thing, coming out of a, a market, a wet, wet market. Coronavirus. Regards of that, I think we've always known. Five years ago. I know. Ago. I think we've always known. No, you can look in history. Someone probably said that eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, no, forty videos. Because you know what? We've it's always explained. been expecting. I it's since a kid, we've always been known a pandemic will come eventually in our lifetime. Why? Because you've been geared to it. You've been brainwashed. No, I know. When I'm five years old, I'm going to be. It's just history repeats itself. Okay, where did the history come from? See, history repeats yeah, but, itself. Yeah, but what pandemic? Well, 1900s, the flu, the flu. There's been many. There's been many pandemics. Yes, but why? People have no water to clean, no clean water. They've been working all day, 14 hour days or whatever, poor with no food. So you're basically right off the bat, your immune system is, is dehydrated. Yeah, but right? when in, eight, have clean water now in 1918, yeah. they say in most of the countries that mandated the wearing the mask, 80% of those complied, and that's when the virus started dropping off of influenza. They contained it. Okay, were you there? No, but you see, no, it's so documented. Taking, so now we're talking about straws, gravity and straws. No, but you're doing exactly the same with me, though. You're doing exactly the same with me here. I'm just going by history books okay, I know, and what's written down. So what do we know about the history that died off with people wearing the masks? It's part of it. It's here's part of it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Some people didn't wear the mask. They got charged for it. I think even somebody got shot for it, killed. Well, I don't know about that. It's oh, happened all over the country. It was a new there's, case, Yeah, there's case. a lot of stuff in America that happened with these anti-maskers that broke out. But the point is this, if people were dying all around, why would somebody not want to wear a mask? Because they didn't believe it. Just, just similar to like you no, guys are not believing it. I don't see people it. dropping down. Eh? I don't see people dropping on the floor. If there was a, a, if there was a thing I thought the mask did something, I don't, I think there's Okay, no. yeah, I think we were afraid from the beginning because they're showing pictures of Wuhan, people dying on the floor, dropping down dead. Then they showed the, the hysteria in Italy in the, the provinces I know, there. I know, because that's why I had the mask on, because of Italy. But knowing after the fact, when you see military walk, going down the street with a coffin in the back, it looks scary. Thinking about it later, how do I know that that coffin wasn't empty? How do yeah, I know yeah. that, that all that guy's told is, drive this over there. He only follows orders. Yeah, yeah. Does the government tell the truth? All the time. Well, no, no one does. You know how I know? <laughs> 
Fauci back in February said, don't wear a mask, it doesn't help you. Yeah, but you gotta remember, COVID's an evolving virus, it's new. Hold on, okay, it's you're right, changing. you're right. It's changing. What's Fauci? Isn't his job for the past 20, 30 years to protect us against stuff like this? His job is to sit at a desk and make sure he, he, he's protecting Yeah, he us. went you against. You yourself, from five years old to yeah. a pandemic, his yeah. whole job is to make sure the pandemic doesn't hurt us. Yeah, yeah. So why back in February he said a mask doesn't do anything? Because it was still. Were, so the point is, and then if you ask him now, his his answer was, well, it's because we want to protect the people. Yeah, yeah. So you lied back in February saying- oh, I get your point. You know, the, the story. So he's a liar yeah, yeah. back then. Yeah, How yeah. do I know he's not lying now? Yeah. And not only that, why is it to make Fauci, they put him on a pedestal when he lies, but when Trump lies, they put him down like he's Yeah, I know, but it's I'm not a Fauci supporter. I'm not an American Absolutely. supporter. So I don't deal in American politics full stop. So- Handing out free masks? Yeah, I got mine in my pocket, buddy. <laughs> I'm not with that. I think it hurts me more than it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Are you sure? Absolutely. You're free. I, I don't. It's pollution. I wouldn't want to do that. Because there's one over there on the floor. It probably has COVID. Somebody said it's garbage. Three baths, everyone. <laughs> no? No free mask? You're not going to take a free mask? All right. <laughs> hey, you live in Canada. You want to wear it? By all means. That's the whole point of but being in Canada. That's fine. I don't want free. There's a, there's a saying about something that's free. Something that's free. This is not great. You're gonna love it. You know what I got for free? Air. Air is free. I'd rather breathe the air. It's free. How about that? Mask just to stop the air, man. I can still breathe. I'd be dead, right? You're right, but my body's getting rid of it. Otherwise, it wouldn't want. That doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? Everything you said. What do you breathe out? Carbon dioxide. What else do you breathe out? Nitrogen. And you have, a, and there's toxins that are in the air as well. So you got that thing there. Well, the air is made up of 75% nitrogen. So, so you're breathing you're that in all the time. Well, well you're, you're not air, consuming you're and also nitrogen. You're okay, breathing once again, at the same once again, when you go in the, if you go, take your car. Come on. Is it, is it masks over hugs? Yo, free mask. Free mask. I'm okay, If brother. you give him a hug, you get a mask. Yeah. I'll give you a hug, but I don't want a mask. Free mask. <laughs> it's good for now. I like that response. I'm good for now. <laughs> Ask me in another six months. <laughs> it's a $30 donation, but yeah. Nice so what, you, you, you heard about you go in the garage. You shut the garage door and stay in the garage? Put your car on. It's like I have a catalytic converter by So what is it? What, it, what comes out of it? Great, would you shut your garage door? Stay in the garage with your car. Would you know what's dying from wearing masks? Would you do that? Do you know any people who died from wearing masks? They haven't worn it long enough. That's just a true fact. No one's actually died from wearing a mask. Yeah, because that's the dumbest shit I ever heard. <laughs> you know what? Back 100 years ago, somebody died from not wearing a mask because they got shot. Well, I, my, because my somebody said you have to wear a mask. They also died from space. Here's, here's a different way to look at it, boys. Okay? Just a different perspective. Yeah. Okay? You're here, we're talking about masks right now. Masks are a distraction. Okay? Masks are a distraction. Our economy has no economic recovery plan right now at all. No we budget. Never, we never really. We're, we're 450 billion dollars in debt this year. I think we can all agree on that aspect of it. Trillion dollars. So here we are talking about masks, Don't right? Forget unfunded liabilities. The list goes on. Well, here we're talking about masks for a virus that, for 76 percent of Canada's population, is 1.7 times. Uh, well, the seasonal flu is 1.7 times more deadly for 76 percent of our population. That's a fact. In Canada. So more people die, especially younger people like our age. Are you from judging, influenza. Are you judging that? Sorry? How are you judging that? I use the Canadian statistics data. So you're saying if I got COVID, it would be better for me than a flu. No, I'm That'd saying 1.7 times more people uh, under the age of 60. Sure, 1.7 more died because, than because we for did a COVID. Good job of Right? I can't hear you, brother. We, we did a good, we did like a good job of managing it, right? So that's that's why we have to understand. Yeah, what deaths, is that right? this year from the flu? Like we've already we've been we wearing actually, masks. The flu is uh, apparently the flu. So you'd have the flu is completely flu. different than COVID. It's a different thing. Right, Influenza but, uh, versus so, a virus is completely different. So here's a good thing, like, especially for viewers. Let's go home and find out how many flu deaths there were in the last six months. It's not, we're not in flu season though right now. We haven't been in flu season since like May, April. Either. There's no such thing as COVID season. That's what you're wrong. So that's where you're wrong. There's no COVID season. Why? Because there isn't, because it's a new virus. Every other coronavirus had a season. It's MERS, SARS. Well, yeah. uh, no, a season is something that's repetitive. It happens every year, every year. COVID's yeah. not going to happen every year. Eventually, if, if history teaches anything, it will the just plague, fizzle out or die. The plague is still with us today. Where? 
In, that, in China. Those how many people have died of the bubonic plague? The point is, we're never how many people have died of the bubonic plague? It doesn't, how people, many people have died? A couple people. Right? A couple people. A couple, but we have hundreds of thousands of COVID deaths. We had a pandemic 100 years ago. They didn't have a vaccine and stuff like that for the bubonic plague. Look at Ebola. It comes and it goes. It's just like Ebola. Ebola. I mean, it's a killing disease, but we contain it to certain places and we're very quick to make sure it doesn't spread. They're trying to make you believe that this vaccine that's coming, because that's what's got the goal. I've had every single vaccine vaccine under the sun, I'm still alive. Well, actually, we're not talking <laughs> There's some people that aren't, though. Some people have died with the vaccines. The most well, there's always a risk in anything. There's always a risk if you get in your car. Exactly. So I'd rather take the risk of COVID <laughs> than with getting a vaccine. I can put my seatbelt on my car, drive around, and still get killed by a T-bone. Yeah, I know. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. But you're right, Matt. You're right. They, they in, in, so MERS and SARS, both two years. Within two years, herd immunity was reached. And it's over. Does the virus still go around? Yeah, maybe, but it's, it's going But also, COVID mutates itself. It can either weaken or go stronger, or it can do different things. That's the, that's the, the, that's the main thing about uh, the, corona, the coronavirus. It can mutate itself. It can change continuously. Yeah. Like so, like all like, like, yeah, yeah. Which, like the flu, they all, they, with the tendency yeah. is to mutate yeah. less deadly, right? Yeah. Because that's the nature of... Uh, yeah, uh, I get, I get what you're at. I mean, I don't fucking wear a mask. I really don't. Well, I, I fucking hate it. Do you agree but that the mandates are, are anti-science? No, not anti-science, all right? But I don't like wearing it. I won't wear it outdoors. Like, I don't have it on now. Unless I got really close to you, I'll put it on, all right? So the mask, when you sneeze in it, yeah. what happens? It slips right there. Not ideal. But is it smaller now? Now the particles are smaller. They still, they still can't come out the mask. Sure they can. No, they can't. Sure they can. Okay. They come out smaller. If you get, if you get, put a mask on. Yeah. Get your cigarette lighter and try and blow that light out. I guess it doesn't work. I did what try that. What virus? <laughs> 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 about what's bigger, the virus or the air particles? Uh, air smaller than a, a little particle of droplet of water. Yeah. No, yeah, there are. So, so what do you think? Uh, aerosol though. Yeah. Aerosol is pretty small. An aerosol is actually bigger than the other one. Yeah. Not in a drop of water. Yeah. This yeah. is the thing: is that aerosol is suspended in the air. Yeah, that's right? true. So when you breathe out, where does the you air go? You think it gets filtered? No. Oh, when you breathe out now, it's going out, but it dilutes itself as it's around us. Okay, now here's a question though. As, as now that I, I you just the principle. You're yeah, actually cool. Carry on. If if so you're you're in favor of mandates. If you were a regional councillor, you would vote to continue the mandate or not so much, or you don't want to say. I don't know. As I was saying to this guy right at the beginning, I've been totally against the government's hypocrisy. Uh, back in a, that's why I've documented more than anything on my YouTube channel is the BS from the government flip-flopping, flip-flopping of its things and confusing everyone. And that's basically it. But in a, so if let's say they hadn't confused everyone, is the mandate a good idea? Or? It came out your eyes and at the side. <laughs> no, it doesn't. If you wear a mask properly, you push it right down over yourself. It's got to go somewhere. It's got to go somewhere. Even if it's only coating. It usually comes out the side and drops. Even if it's only coating him and then he's touching himself and touching other people. No, I'm if, making a point. Can you breathe it? So if can anybody it? thinks it's a it? good idea. Not really. How could we prove oh, yeah. what evidence? You can smell any little bit of it. What evidence would one. say that the mandates are bad? The other way, man. Hi guys. That the saying. mandates Have don't work. Have a good you know what? Hey guys. Hey guys. The beauty is this is Canada. We can still talk. Hey, That's you. Right? You see what? You, see guys. Like I'm worried that the mandate itself. I'm I'm mostly against the mandate. Yeah, yeah. I I, I agree that the you know, masks do they work? Don't they work? I think that's a separate discussion. Yeah. The mandate though is anti-science. Right. Okay? I'll tell you what. Here's the hypothesis. Mask mandates will lower the transmission and spread of the virus. How do we disprove that? What evidence disproves it? If it can't be disproven, if you can't tell me how it could be disproven, it's not science. Would you rather take the risk though? That? Wouldn't you rather take the risk of putting a mask on no, no, and you just? Mean, you mean take the uh, lower my risk? Yeah, look, yeah, but oh, no, but also just take that. Down. You know what? I'm gonna put the mask on and just, you know what? Just on the safe side. Okay, but let's say, let's say this is one of the alternatives, right? Yeah, yeah. Science, so we have a hypothesis. It lowers the lowers the spread. What if it raises the spread? Yeah. What evidence would, they, would we need for that? Like if you were in, sorry, I have a list here: Venezuela, Vietnam, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Bosnia, Cuba, Colombia, Morocco, El Salvador, Argentina, the Philippines, Peru, California, Illinois, Hawaii, France, Spain, and others. From the time they put the mandate in, the spread went up. Other places, from the time they put the mandate in, the spread went down, but it was already going down. I'm not aware, and maybe you are, of somewhere in the world where it was going up, a mandate then turned it away. 
or it was going up and it changed the course. You see what I mean? Right, right, right. I think that there's, if we can't disprove it, yeah, yeah. it's not something. No, it's a valid point. It's yeah. It's, it, then we're taking it on yeah, faith, yeah. right? And I think we have to be very careful because, again, look at you look at Spain. Now, of course, the pandemic is over, which is a separate issue. Yeah, yeah. Right? There's still viral spread, but very little death. I don't know if you've seen a chart of Spain's chart. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Right? How the, the well, you're saying with those, it has dropped. Flat, yeah. That's our flat, yeah. right? Which means the pandemic is essentially over, right? If you really, you know, we're counting. However, you want to look at it. Yeah, it's all cases yeah. is a little silly. But the mandate itself is not a scientific proposition. Right. It wasn't imposed in a scientific way, it's imposed in a political way, because we had no cases in Niagara, effectively, and they put it in. So it can't go down. The cases yeah. can only stay flat or go up. Right. If I may, if I may, too, talk about the scientific approach to it. Right. I mean, I'm all about the science. Why can you wear a balaclava, a bandana? Yeah. A ch I can make a cheesecloth mask and walk into Walmart. That, that makes enough. the mandate, yeah. That makes, but why didn't they make it a standard where this was the standard? A well, that, that's the hypocrisy. I've always been against yeah, yeah. that. I've, and that's one of my arguments as well. It always has been that. Yeah, the, these guys are all right. They really are all right. They're nice to chat to. Uh, a lot of them are very well informed. And now they're going to do a group shot. <laughs> I wanted to thank each and every one of you, young and old, for coming out today. This is what we have to do. We're going to continue. I'm going to let Shandor talk about some of the stuff we got coming up in the area. We have to get active. We have to show our faces. And we have to get out there. Free okay, the guys? face! Free the face, that's Free right. The Hashtag oxygen matters. Okay, guys, I love you. Thank you for being here. Give it up for Shandor. All right, I'm pretty loud as is, but this will really carry it through. Uh, thank you everyone for being here. Um, I'm not really sure what to say. I'm kind of a media guy, and so what I'm all about is positioning ourselves in the media. Position yourselves in the media. The media is the vessel of whoever takes initiative. So we're taking initiative because if we had it, then there would be a viral video of Clifton Hill, and there would be uh, tweets about 100 cases this today, and uh, on and on, the message would be controlled by influences. I don't want to get into it. You know about it. <laughs> so I have a specific plan, and I would like to invite you to be there, and that is Wednesday afternoon at the White House of Rock, which is at 12 Yates Street. CKTV and the news media in general has made editorial decisions which in my view perpetrate fear and they are rewarding themselves by perpetrating fear. Sounds good, thanks. Wow, looking good guys. Love all the signs. That's right. That is amazing. All right, I came in here strongly trying to be unbiased the best I can, and you know what? It works. Um, you know what? They've got their own little movement going. They're happy. Uh, they stand for what they believe in. They're not forced. No one forced anything on me today, which was nice. Uh, they just asked me a few questions. We spoke openly, and now he's just rallying a few people. They've got an, uh, another protest planned, and uh, they're having a pop at the local media here which we all know they twist things anyway. So uh, good for them, and I wish them all the best on their endeavor for what they want to uh, reach out for. They're not pushing it onto people. Uh, they're just making people aware, and uh, let you lot be the judge. And like I said, these guys were very decent enough to chat with me and be uh, very polite, and everything went well. So that's it, I don't really need to talk. All right, so there you have it. That is the, uh, the anti-mask rally, Hugs Over Masks. They're in Welland, so what do you think? Uh, what are your opinions? Uh, please feel free to leave a comment uh, below and uh, I'll try and reply to most of them, if not all of them, if I can. I tell you, it's, it's not for everyone this conversation, uh, but I thought it'd be a nice opportunity to let people see what their side of the argument is. I mean, I've always been putting my case out there, so I went there, like I said, being unbiased the best I could. Uh, usually I mock these kind of things, but I went in there and I had a nice chat with many of them and I listened to them. Uh, yeah, they never convinced me though, but I did listen to them and I, I respect anyone who has their own beliefs like that. Um, as long as they don't push it onto anyone else, it's kind of like that kind of wacko religion style thing, right? So uh, yeah, I'm just putting it out there so you can you can be the judge yourselves and please feel free to comment on this and uh, yeah. 
that we'll leave it at that for now.